So I'm a hybrid user. I love to do photography and I also love to do videography. So after using my Canon Rebel SL2 for a couple of years learning the basics of video and photography, it was time to go ahead and get an upgrade. The Canon Rebel SL2 had no bells or whistles to it. It was simply a beginner's camera to go ahead and learn the basics. Now I wanted to go ahead and learn how to edit in log mode and get more, you know, advanced in my editing flow and the camera itself with different things to go ahead and experiment with like file size stuff, 4K video, and so much more. So what camera do I upgrade to and should I even stay with Canon? Now the thing is the Canon Rebel SL2 that I was using had a particular lens mount, I think it was EFS or EF lens, and during this time the Sony a7S III came out and the Canon R5 and R6 came out and I was also looking at the um, EOS R but the problem with Canon if I were to stick with that is that I would have to go ahead and get first of all the camera body itself but also just abandoned all the lenses that I had because it was an RF mount lens so that also was in my mind like saying like oh my gosh I have to get rid of my really nice 50 millimeter lens I have to get rid of my 10 to 18 the wide angle lens so it was just like do i want to do all that stuff just so i can start over with yes a great new camera or do i just start over fully grab a new camera and i'll have to get another lens to it if i switch brands and that's exactly what i did i went with the sony a7s3 and yes it prioritizes mostly in video but after watching some you know videos of its photography capabilities and everything I was like, yeah, it's still a great camera for photo, even though you're not going to be able to crop in or print really big, like really, really big. You can still print on this camera, but um, again, it's just not really made for photography, but you can do some really nice um, photos on it. I recommend this camera real quick for someone who really is into video, like that is what you wanna do but you can go ahead and take like your fun Instagram photos of you climbing Mount Everest or you in the Amazon rainforest or something because you're going to get great image qualities with this. You just can't crop in, which is an issue I had when I shot a little bit too wide and I wanted to go ahead and crop in on like a person or whatever, but their face got a little bit low res just because of the 12 megapixel sensor. Other than that, it's still an amazing camera. So let's go ahead and talk about the new camera because that's what this video is about instead of just rambling on why I love Sony right now and Canon's just far behind. Anyways, they're really not. Canon's a great brand, don't get me wrong. Um, it's just Sony fit my needs more. Let's go ahead and say that. So yeah, anyways, this is a Sony a7R. This is a Sony a7S. S in video, R in photo. So I essentially have a camera that prioritizes best in video and photo, which is kind of what I wanted, but the main problem was the cropping issues. So I now have this camera as a backup camera and also B-roll camera if I needed to go ahead and shoot something. Um, you know, me filming with this camera, you know, of something and then this camera be the one recording that. This does have 4K uh, video mode, so that's great if I really need that. I Again, I'm not planning on using this for video at all. And this camera is an older model. I don't need any of the fancy things that the newer models has. Yes, this still only has like one card slot and the battery might be smaller and might not last that long, but it's still a great camera. The images are amazing. This thing has 42 megapixels, so that's more than enough so anyways that is why i did get another camera just so i could really max out my photography if needed again don't get me wrong this is still a great camera and can do photography but i would definitely use this one over that one for sure and this thing still performs great in low light sony is the king of low light another reason why i switched from Sony to Canon is because I think Sony is really killing it with the video and Canon still is prioritizing their cameras with the photography aspect of it and then just throwing in the video stuff right after and which is fine but I prioritize more with video I think or you know making videos more than I am shooting so that is why I did decide to go ahead and get this camera and then 
after selling my Canon Rebel SL2, it's like, I don't have a B camera, so why not just go ahead and get this one? So that's what I did. So that is it for today's video on pretty much why I'm switching and why I did get a second camera. It's always nice to have a B camera, especially one that can maybe do better in the other um, subject, whether you are a videographer or photographer. So maybe keep that in mind. But anyways, that, that is it. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave a like, subscribe with those post notifications turned on. Join the membership if you want. And also don't forget to go ahead and follow me on social medias, Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch because sometimes I do go live. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.